Yeah. Let's have a look at two newer examples. Now, it, that's from the Occupy movement, as you said. The 99% have no borders. That's the clue. It's quite a deliberately retro style. But here's a cause. I, I particularly singled this out because I thought, here's a cause that broadly you might be sympathetic to. And yet, would you apply the label of propaganda to this image? Yeah, I'm sympathetic to the cause, but I don't like this technique of trying to bring people in. In fact, I, I can't stand listening to what's called the no, you know, uplifting rhetoric. It just really turns me off. And the, for the same reason, this kind of thing. It's an appeal to uh, emotions, not uh, understanding. And uh, it's obvious what it's trying to say, but... Uh, so you don't like it even when it's in the service of a cause, oh, you may simply... I can't stand it. Yeah. Well, well, let's I mean, I can't to... listen to Martin Luther King's speeches. Literally, although I greatly admire him. Because, because it's an... Just the style. You know, it's, a, it's an appeal. It's trying to arouse emotional support for something very significant. I mean, I don't criticize it. It obviously meant something. Well, if you didn't like Martin Luther King, what about this man? <coughs> no, well, that's... Uh, uh, extreme problem. You, you can see the effect it had by the on the funeral. Yes. Uh, it was just uh, worship. In fact, about the only thing like it outside of Kim Il-sung, maybe, was Ronald Reagan's uh, uh, death. Oh. It was treated like uh, uh, a king had died. In fact, you can read publications of the Hoover Institution, you know, at Stanford University, serious research outfit, uh, describing Reagan as a, how do they put it, a, a colossal figure whose uh, spirit hovers over us like a warm and friendly ghost. <laughs> uh, that's actually, uh, George Washington was treated the same way. Mm. Uh, when the uh, colonies, the colonies had to create some sort of sense of national identity. I mean, the term United States was plural until the Civil War. There's a lot of states, you know. And uh, they tried to create a national identity. You needed a heroic figure. So the, uh, the, uh, in the early 19th century, there was a George Washington cult that was stirred. It's where you get these uh, cherry tree stories and all yes. that business. It was all concocted to try to show that he was uh, uh, practically not human. He was a noble gentleman. Uh, and uh, and some of it's very funny. Uh, for example, if you go to the Capitol building today, uh, there's a statue of uh, George, around 1830, I think, of Washington uh, in the style of a Greek god. You know, he's Zeus. And, and there was criticism of it. But the criticism was because he was wearing a toga and his shoulder was showing. <laughs> but other than that, that's fine. He was god, you know.